this lesson is very important because I want to explain the simulation, which kind of simulation do you need and its properties. As you can see, we have a properties editor here. First, we are <coughs> inserting an avatar here to begin. We insert the avatar here and drawing two rectangle, big rectangle to uh, simulate in 3D. As you can see, you can select it and with this gizmo, you can rotate it, bring it about. And as you can see, you can simulate your class and it's a space. If we have three method for our simulation, it's a GPU fast one, normal default one, and the fitting best quality accurate fabric. I'll be excellent. Set it to the uh, default and uh, click space in the keyboard. And as you can see, it will be done. When you're rotating, it's stop and done. This is our simulation. What's the difference between them? The GPU, it's like GPU rendering. It means it's very fast, but not good quality. It's a fast, but not good quality. <laughs> Going to the fabric and set it. And another rectangle about that you will be learn more. As you can see, the position of the 2D pattern in a 2D is not dependent on your 3D. It means it's just independent from each other. As you can see, the clauses in a 3D are independent from there. Click and drag and simulate again. What happened here? Control Z. Yeah. Oh, it is uh, all about the properties of that cloth. Any clothes has a different properties. Nice. Okay, as you can see, we have a high dense, uh, for example, in a big project, we have a lot of uh, clouds to simulate and we need a fast one. Okay, control Z, control Z, we need a fast one. You can use your GPU, and as you can see, it's very super fast. Nice. GPU is very fast, but not very uh, good. Because uh, I suggest you, when you use fast, you have, for example, a lot of classes that you want to swing and veering on your avatar, do the GPU. And after that, if you swing and everything is connecting to each other, then use the, for example, normal, and then using the uh, fitting. If you have a good, <clears throat> and powerful system, uh, you can use always fit. But uh, people that don't have any powerful system, you can use a fast and normal. So if you have a big project, first using <coughs> a GPU, and then if the clauses are connecting to each other, everything is calmed down, then using the normal. This is different. This is a fitting, you can click select it and then a spacebar, or you can click it here. Turn it off or turn it on. As you can see, the fitting is so slow because it's the best and accurate uh, properties of the simulation. <clears throat> My system is best for normal. And now we want to change the properties of the uh, simulation. How you can access you can simply right click and here is a right click in uh, just a 3D window because simulation is in the 3D window. Right click in empty space and simulation properties. In the properties editor, you can see the uh, simulation properties here. You can make it bigger. Nice. You can see the simulation properties here that I explained. 
first you can uh, change the preset as you can see we have a lots of preset here exactly like this fast gpu normal animation uh, these are just presets for example for animation we have a different sitting here for for example gpu as you can see lots of sitting are turning off for fasting and uh, fitting as you can see all of the settings are turned on it means we have a best quality for our simulation more you can set it to custom to change it first is that uh, time uh, a step don't change it just know the uh, if you have a power system for example if you set it to the fitting if you set it to the normal as you can see it does not change because the lower number uh, have we have a better quality for our simulation simulation quality as you can see a higher number means better quality of simulation if you set it to the fast gpu as you can see it's set to the one if you go to the fitting it sets the five if you change the number for example to the six as you can see our preset change the custom and you can save it as your preset if you want so we set it to the normal a cg finish condition cg is conjugate uh, gradient it's a mathematical uh, things behind the simulation don't worry about it but we have two modes iteration residual iteration and here you can change the iteration count uh, it means it's uh, calculate calculate and iterate the simulation till this number here and it will be a stop and it's not good because Sometimes you have something falling down in a wind. We need more simulation. But if you set it to the residual, we have a residual number here. It means uh, it's, it has a number here. Don't change it. But the residual means if simulation end when uh, your classes is calmed down. Okay. If you set it to the normal, if you set it to the fitting, as you can see, it, we have a residual because we need a, um, it's calculate, calculate until that the clauses are calmed down, everything is stopped, but it's calculating. But if you set it to the normal, as you can see, it's changing to iterate. It's calculate and iterate, iterate the simulation till this number. If the simulation reaches this, this number, everything is stopped. <clears throat> okay uh, self collision iteration count it's very uh, collision as you can see if you can delete it from here if you click this is self collision class of class <clears throat> going back if you want to access the simulation properties you can duplicate one of the windows and here going to scene browser the scene browser as you can see your pattern your item are will be here and this is your avatar you can close and open the avatar joints that's why we explain it here we have a lot default camera and here you can access the simulation properties in the scene manager you can access it here or right click <coughs> Scene properties. Air damping, it is a friction between the air and uh, your clause, your pattern. If you uh, increase this number, you can simulate the clause you know, on the water. You can change it and see. The most important thing here is the gravity. It's a negative number, 2800. Uh, remember this number. Uh, it is because this is in a real world gravity and our classes will be fall down you can oh we are in a simulation you can turn it up and as you can see <coughs> turn a simulation zero make it a zero and then as you can see it looks like we are in a space because we have no gravity nice if you want your gravity uh, is vice versa is going up 
you can add a positive number delete this negative number and your class is going up because the gravity is <clears throat> positive number so this is gravity you can change uh, give it a lower higher number and test it it's the most important thing number of now it's going down boom the number of uh, cpu in use okay three cpu if you have a lot of cpu you can increase this number but be careful about it it's automatically detected your cpu core and choose the best one non-linear uh, non simulation if you turn it off we have a better quality it is turned on in fitting as you can see it's better quality if you turn the gpu it's going to the fast simulation so exactly like this is gpu and here we have a ground collision uh, as you can see if you simulate it's hit the ground because our collision on the ground is turned on if you want to this fall down to an infinity you can turn it off the height means this class exactly hit the zero surface of that or you can add a height the collision and all of these three uh, collision detection is for higher quality as you can see all of them turn on and it cause the better quality for collision for example avatar and class collision detection it means it's turned on it's detected the collision between triangle of the avatar and the vertex of the classes or self collision between class and uh, one class to itself triangle of that to the vertex edge to the edge and don't change avoidance stiffness this number is nice now don't bothering yourself don't confuse it's very easy and here is a proximity detection it is for uh, calculating detection collision between one class to the another class the vertex or triangle edge to edge vertex to vertex if you turn it on we have better quality of that and intersection resolution uh, if you turn it on it's detected and it does not allow two classes going to each other so it is all about fitting accurate as you can see the number will be changed for example remember this number if you go into the normal we have a smaller object uh, bigger object a uh, bigger number here in this smaller number and here a smaller number and here a smaller number we have better quality of the but but be careful about that don't change them because maybe your computer crash down so this is all about the simulation it's very easy but don't bothering with the settings just set the presets if you have an animation you have a stable one use it if you want to fast gpu big project first view the fast and normal then fitting object doing a step by step hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release